Okay, guys, what's going on? So, uh, like, not kind of surprisingly, Mutant was actually is actually my highest viewed video. So, because of that, as you guys clearly like the Mutant deck profile, I thought I would make another one. It's, it's a little bit different. Uh, I took some feedback from you guys of what you've said in the comments. Uh, one guy in particular uh, to try and suit the deck that way. I've taken out Extravagance to try and make it a little bit more affordable. And um, I've made it a little bit better and uh, it's, a, it's a bit more of a dynamic. Because last time it was a bit more stunner, had more traps in it. Uh, you see in this one, I don't play more traps. And um, you, you, you'll see, you'll see as I, as I go through. So, to start off, the Liveaway Mutants. Got three Beast and three Arsenal. So... I'm not playing uh, Mist because Mist is the worst of the three. It just allows you to draw cards. Uh, so these two are the best ones. So rather than playing two of each, I've decided to go for three Beast and three Arsenal. So Arsenal, you can banish one card from your hand and negate the activation. And if you do, banish that card. So that's a spell card. So he stops with uh, spell cards. And then Arsenal is you can banish one card from your hand field, then target one monster on the field and banish it so this is spells and this is monster effects um so yeah these ones are going to be the most common the best ones to use uh so yeah so those are the eights then moving on into the smaller mutants do play three mo5 two st and the one gb8 so I've gone for MO5 because MO5 can actually search you ST or GB88. Um, but the first two's effects, Mutant MO5 and Mutant ST46, what they do is when they're summoned, they have their effects. So MO5 searches for a mutant monster and ST searches for a mutant spell or trap. Um, so then what you want to be doing is you'll tribute this and banish a card from your hand and then... If you banish a monster, you can get Beast. If you banish a spell, you can get Mist. If you banish a trap, you can get Arsenal. So that's the way it works. It's a little bit, it's a little bit different. Uh, this is why I, I, it is good to play Mist as well because you have more spells than you will traps. Um, so it's just for that reason, really. Um, you see in this deck, I kind of like maybe it's a bit pointless playing Arsenal, but we'll see. Uh, you, you'll be always be someone who missed most of the time and GB88 if I wasn't playing the field spell I would not play this card. Uh, I would probably play three and three uh, But this card's effect is during your opponent's main phase if mutant lab evolution lab is in your field zone quick effect You can special summon this card from your hand if this card is special summoned during your opponent's turn You can tribute this card then banish one card from your hand or face up field special summon one of your level eight Mutant monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. So similar effect to these two, other than it's only for a monster and you can only do it. You're only really going to be able to get that effect off if you have Evolution Lab on the field. So that's what I played for the smaller monsters. Then moving on, it's going to be. I think it's going to be a mainstay in this deck. Uh, it just fits so so well. We've got Necroface. So when this card is normal summoned. You shuffle all removed from play cards into their owner's decks, so your opponents and yours. Uh, that, I'm sure that if you summoned this against a Grand Marju player, it would really piss them off. Um, uh, it also gains 100 attack for each one, but uh, which sometimes could be okay, but you don't really banish. Well, if it's their banish as well, yeah, you're going to be pretty, pretty crazy. Um, when this card is removed from play, both players remove from play the top five cards of their deck. So again, it can be really good against combo decks. If you're banishing their combo pieces um, from the top five, can be really detrimental to them, can really piss them off, can really like uh, cause harm to their combos and their decks. Um, and it also fits really, really well with the deck. So following on with that, the one giant Rex. You could probably play this at more. Uh, I just only have the one, but I would maybe play three and two because you want one of these in your opening hand. Realistically, you want to get one of the small mutants and one of these so that 
Giant Rex, when it's banished, you can resummon it. So it's just a special summon, realistically. It's just a free summon, and then you can either link, uh, link climb with it, or um, like you know, yeah, realistically, you're just gonna link, uh, and you'll see what you would make in my extra deck in the moment. Uh, but yeah, so it basically just gets you, allows you, it's a free body really, it just, it's a free banish. Then, moving on. So, only playing a couple of hand traps, I'm not going mental with hand traps. So I'm playing three, Dimensional Shifter, such a good card. And three, Nibiru. So Nibiru is basically for the combo decks. Combo decks are a thing, they are out there, they cause a lot of problems, they're annoying. And Nibiru just shuts that down. Then you've got Dimensional Shifter, that most decks cannot survive without without using their graveyard. Most decks will just pass. And again, I've said I mentioned in one of my Grand Margie videos, Dimensional Shifter needs um, sorry, Dimensional Shifter close shuts off the banished uh, the my mind's gone blank shuts off the the graveyard and. For Virtual World, they have to target a monster on field and send to the graveyard to summon. So they can't do that. So it just shuts off what potentially is going to be a, a meta deck if VFD doesn't get banished, yeah, banned. So yeah, Dimensional Shift, the best hand trap in the game in my opinion. So onto the draw power. So as you can guess, I'm playing a 39 card deck with Upstart Goblin. Just trying to get the mainstay, the best cards of the mutants out. And then three trade-ins. So we do play, what, the six uh, level weights. It's just more draw power. Um, someone mentioned in the comments before, uh, why play trade-in? Because if it gets ashed. But then, why play extravagance? Because you're going to banish six face down. And if it gets ashed, it's pointless. Do you know what I mean? So, this card in actually is better because at least you have a body then in your banished or graveyard to uh, use mutant cry and fusion summon. So trading actually is not really bad because if you can get more fodder into your graveyard or banished, it's helping you. So this card is very, very useful in my opinion. Moving on. So like I said, three Mutant Evolution Lab. The reason I play with the Terraforming rather than the three labs is just well, you just want to thin your deck a little bit more, try and get to your pieces, try and get to what you want. Uh, yeah, and so you're just trying to thin your deck. Uh, mutant Evolution Lab. When this card is activated, you can special summon one of your level four or lower mutant monsters. So you want to be able to try and get realistically MO5 and ST46 on the field. Uh, so the other way to do that with these is obviously playing Emergency Teleport. Uh, you want one of these in your hand also, so potentially you could bump, take out the Upstart Goblin and put a Mutant, or take out a trade in and put it in another Evolution Lab, because you just want to, you want to be able to get two of them on. If you can get two of them on, full combo, you can do whatever you want. Um, really, really, really strong, really helps the deck out. Um, also, it does help you unbrick your hand, where you can put back a Mutant card. So if you've drawn one of your beasts, and you do this, you can put it back and then draw another card, potentially drawing into um, a necro face or a, a hand trap or something like this. So helps you unbrick your hand also. Emergency teleport, you can special summon one level three or lower psychic monster. So again, really, really good. Then, Gold Sarcophagus, you know we're gonna be banishing off this. You're gonna banish 100%, you're gonna be banishing your necro face to try and banish more of your cards Banish your opponent's cards and try and get some fodder for your Mutant Cry fusion. Dimensional Fissure is Shifter, but permanent. Absolutely perfect, broken card. Loads of decks can't deal with this because, like again, a lot of cards, will, a lot of people, even if they've set up their board, they will want to recur stuff from their graveyard. So, it says no to that. Then, I am playing, guys. Six Mutant Cry. Mutant Cry is the best card, is the best mutant card in my opinion. The best. And what it does is during your during the main phase, fusion summon one mutant fusion monster from your extra deck by shuffling the fusion materials listed on it into the deck from among your cards on the field in your graveyard 
and or face up banish cards. So you can only activate one per turn, but that doesn't matter. And you just want to get to it as quick as possible. So that's why we're playing 39 card deck and then six copies. Absolutely crazy, it's broken, it's, it's such, such a good, it's the best mutant card in my opinion. Um, and obviously it's the only trap I play, so trap trick is just, uh, it just helps. It's the only one I play. And yeah, so Mutant Cry, great card. And the last three cards in the deck, it wasn't in my last profile, but whilst it's not banned, and potentially it will be banned um, in the next ban list, that's in what, probably a couple of weeks. Um, we're playing the Dragoon package, guys. It is what it is. I hope it doesn't get banned because I brought two and um, it's a good card. Um, I brought it when it was £50, so I don't really want it to be banned after not really being able to play it anywhere decent other than a little bit of locals. So, yeah, gotta play that. Those are the last three cards in that part. Moving on to the extra deck. So for the Mutant Extra deck, I'm playing two Ultimus and two Synthesis. Synthesis? Synthesis. Uh, so Ultimus needs three level eight or higher mutant monsters. So again, that one's quite difficult to get into. Uh, so it's not this. It's, it's, it's hard to get into, to be honest. You need to be able to get more and more banished into your... So you can use um, God Sarcophagus to just banish one if you need to, but... Realistically, you want to be hitting Necroface and then hope that you banish more and more and more. So potentially, if you really want to play the Ultimate version, maybe it's worth playing three of all of the level eights if you really want to go into Ultimus, because it does help you. Um, it, ha it has got a good effect. Like when this card, when a card or effect is out of a quick effect, you can quick effect. <laughs> you can banish one mutant card from your graveyard, from your hand, graveyard, or face-up field of the same type monster spell trap. To negate the activation. So. That's, that's pretty good, and if you do, banish that card. So, that's pretty good. Um, you can only use each effect once per turn, and the second effect is, if this fusion summon card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card, you can add up to three of your banished mutant cards, one of each monster, spell, and trap to your hand. You can only use each effect of Mutant Ultimus once per turn. So again, so that, that just to recur for your following turn, can be really helpful, can be really useful. Um, but again, three level eights or higher is quite difficult. Um, and then, of course, going into mutant synthesis, if it like it kind of has a similar. If this card is fusion summoned, then you can destroy a card on the field. And then, quick effect: if something targets this, you can activate this effect for the rest of the turn. This face-up card is unaffected by effects of your opponent's cards are the same. So, if someone tries to target it with a monster effect, activate it. Monster effects don't affect it. Trap. Spell, same thing. Um, so it's pretty good. So those are the two that are played for the mutant lineup. Then, because we do have level eights inside the deck, we are going for one Lancelot. Uh, Lancelot is good for uh, effect negation. So if you're going first, maybe you want to set that up and go first. Also, if it has material, it can attack directly. You'll see why I mentioned that in just a moment. Got one Dengisu. It sends, it's easy, non target and send. So, always useful to have that. Then, of course, one Hope, spell and spell, um, spell card or effect activation. Uh, quick effects, attach it so it negates for the first one. Then, you've got Numeron and Droglubion for the OTK. Obviously, you're going to use those three just for a little bit more OTK power. And then, like I mentioned with the Lancelot. We've got the one Zeus. So realistically, if you go in seconds, go into Lancelot, attack directly, then make Zeus. Pretty good, in my opinion. If you can't win, that's the way to do it, and then try and get, then just send everything. Zeus is such a good card in this meta at the moment. So broken. Zeus are really using it, and if you can use it, I would while you can, because I imagine that this card is so OP. No, uh, I imagine it's going to be a contender for ban list, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, so that's it for the XYZs. Then, of course, playing a few links. Got one IP, one Nightmare, and one Black Luster Soldier of Chaos. So I play the BLS over things like Boral Swords because it only requires three. 
and Viral Sword requires four. Uh, and obviously you can make it with IP. So uh, it gives it a little bit more protection. And obviously Phoenix is just a good one to have for more spell trap card removal. Because obviously I don't main anything. But then the last two, as you've already can tell, one pre uh, one Verte Predapan Anaconda and one Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Um, no need to explain those cards. I'm sure you guys have all seen them um, quite enough as it is. Um, let me know what you guys think about this build. Obviously, it is quite different to uh, my previous build. Uh, like basically, ba completely different almost. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this gets as many views as the last one. It was my first 1K viewed uh, video, so thank you very much for that. Uh, super appreciate it. And um, yeah, thank you very much, guys. And uh, stay safe.